hey guys it's me Tolha. in this video i will be showing you a quick and easy way to model this kind of facade design in revit let's get started so here i am in revit and as usual first we are going to create some new levels so let's go to the elevation here and select this level and press ar on the keyboard to create an array here let's create 10 new levels here perfect but if you notice we don't have these uh, levels showing up here so to make them visible here in this uh, project browser we need to go to view tab and then click this drop down and select floor plan and as you can see we have all these uh, levels showing up here let's hold shift key and select the last one and click ok there you go we now have uh, all these levels uh, showing up here now let's go to level 1 and here I'm going to create a curtain wall so let's go to architecture select wall and from this drop down select storefront and let's change the top constraint to level uh, 11 and I'm just going to create a 40 feet by 40 feet rectangle here like so now let's select this wall if you notice the temporary dimension is not showing up here so to see the temporary dimension here we need to click this activate dimensions there you go we can now see this uh, temporary dimension let's click it and make it 40 feet let's repeat that here as well select this wall and click activate dimensions and make it 40 feet perfect let's go to 3d as you can see we got this uh, basic building model here now uh, we want to change the uh, change the distance between uh, these uh, mullions so for that we need to select this wall and go to edit type and here we'll just change the vertical spacing to four feet and the horizontal grid also four feet so we are going to get four feet by four feet panel here and let's click apply click ok and we got something like this now we want to change the angle of these panels so before that i will just quickly hide uh, this uh, the other uh, walls here so we can uh, see this one clearly now let's select this wall and here we have the vertical grid angle let's let's put 45 here and in the horizontal grid also I'll, I'll put 45 and click apply here here you go we got our panels ready here now if you notice we have these glass panels here to replace them with solid ones we need to uh, create a new panel here so for that we can go to the families just cl click this plus icon and go to curtain panels here just expand this and then system panel and here we have this solid uh, curtain panel let's right click it duplicate and I will just double click it and here we have the thickness parameter I'm just going to put one foot here and remove the offset let's put zero and for the material i'm going to create a new material here for the panels let's create a new one i'm going to call it gray panel or whatever you want to call it and then let's load a gray texture here here we have it i'm going to use this one and let's change the size of this i'm just going to make it six feet by six feet let's click done click ok and click ok again and now we want to change the uh, thickness of this mullions as well so for that we'll create a new type so here we have the curtain wall mullions just expand this and we are using a rectangular one so we need to go to rectangular mullion here and this two and a half inch by five inch rectangular uh, is what we are using here so we want to duplicate this one 
and let's double click it and change the thickness here I will put one foot here as well and for the dimensions we'll try half an inch on each side so let's put half inch here and half an inch on the other side as well and for the material we'll use this aluminium material and click ok again now we can just replace these panels and these glass panels with the new ones which we have just created so for that we can just select this storefront again and go to edit type and here we have the curtain panel parameter let's click this uh, just click at the corner and select this solid 2 which we have just created and for the mullions also we need to replace them let's select this rectangular 2 for the vertical ones and I will just quickly replace the horizontal mullions as well just click apply ok click delete elements just click ok and just ignore this warning and click ok there we go we got this cool looking pattern here now let's create another panel type here because we want to replace the, some of these panels with uh, LED uh, with uh, LED panels so for that we need to create a duplicate of this again and let's call it LED panel and I'm just going to double click it and we'll create a new LED uh, material here and then we can just click here to open up the asset browser here let's go to appearance library then glass and here let's scroll down we have the LED materials here let's use this one just load this in close this and click ok ok again and to replace these panels we first want to go to the front view here and we'll just randomly uh, replace these panels here so let's select this one by pressing tab key on the keyboard and then unpin it and we can select the LED panel which we have just created there we go now I'll just quickly uh, replace some of these panels here so we have replaced these panels here now uh, let's create an opening here for the entrance so for that we can select this uh, curtain wall by pressing tab key and then edit profile and uh, we'll just create a sketch here let's click delete elements and we'll create a sketch here for the opening so let's uh, use line and I will just change the visual style to hidden line so we can see these panels and we'll just follow these panels and create a sketch like this and then I'm just going to use split SL and you split this line and use TR and just trim uh, these lines here and click finish click delete elements and there you go we got this opening here we can just add a curtain wall here so for that let's just go back to level one and I'm just going to select a curtain wall from this drop down and let's create a curtain wall here like this and go back to the elevation and select the curtain wall and uh, edit profile let's delete this profile and we'll create a new one using uh, this pick lines tool just pick the opening which we have just created so we have created this profile let's click finish and we got our curtain wall here let's quickly create the signage here for that also we can use wall let's select wall from here and this time we will use a generic wall I'm going to use this 5 inch generic wall and create a wall here like this and go back to south elevation and we will just uh, edit this wall profile 
let's delete these three lines and use pick lines and pick the panel here and just use tr and just trim these lines and we can just close this here or we can just reduce the size of this signage click finish and uh, we got our signage here as well we can add uh, model text if you want and now let's add the door for that also let's go back to south elevation and i'm just going to add curtain grid let's add two of these here change the width to six feet and let's quickly load a curtain wall door family here we have it curtain wall door let's open this up and just replace that here and just select this panel okay we, want, we need to add the horizontal grid as well so let's add one here and then i'm just going to replace this panel with the uh, curtain wall door let's go back to 3d and if i change the detail level to fine we'll be able to see the handles uh, if you want to remove this uh, grid lines you can do that by selecting the grid line and just click here add remove segments let's remove that and select this one as well and remove the grid line as well and let's quickly unhide the other uh, walls here and of course you can repeat the same process with these walls as well so that's how you create this kind of uh, facade design in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and yeah i will see you guys in the next video